Hello everyone. In this video we're going to continue our explorations with hypnotic uh, structures. I call them hypnotic structures and learn how to make tessellations with them and give them effects such as this one uh, where things are rotating etc. Uh, to be able to do this uh, what we're going to do I'm going to quickly go through this list so you have a sense what is ahead. Uh, we're going to learn how to uh, create a hypnotic structure for all of the regular polygons that uh, we have constructed earlier triangle, square, pentagon, hexagon, etc. And once we have done that, uh, we're going to re revisit the concepts from regular tessellations. And uh, we have already discovered that triangles, squares, and hexagons uh, tessellate and we're going to use the tools we have created uh, in this case for example triangular tessellations you know create a shape like this but we're going to apply the hypnotic uh, versions of those triangles of those squares and of those hexagons to create regular hypnotic tessellations and then we're going to move on to uh, semi-regular tessellations which we have studied at an earlier video and uh, we're going to compose the hypnotic uh, structures we have created uh, to make semi-regular hypnotic tessellations. In this case, you can recognize the octagons together with the square, the hexagon together with square and triangle, uh, and even here uh, you have hexagons and triangles tessellating together. Okay, uh, so this is the uh, task. And when we are done, if we are ambitious, uh, I will encourage you to incorporate some things like the garage band. If you know anything about garage band, uh, you could actually apply some cool music that you create uh, and superimpose that with the animations you're going to create to make some cool, exciting projects. Alrighty, I hope you're excited. Uh, we'll get to work.